world's largest iceberg has just run aground on the British territory of South Georgia. So what is a megaberg and what does it mean for the island and the rest of the planet? South Georgia is about 800 miles from where I'm standing here on the Falkland Islands. And it's the first bit of ice-free land between Antarctica and the rest of the world. Iceberg A23A is vast, larger than Greater London at 1,200 square miles. It's nearly 300 metres thick, almost taller than the Shard, and it weighs around a trillion tonnes. Unlike many of Antarctica's massive icebergs, which rapidly break up and melt as they're carried north on ocean currents, A23A has been around for nearly 40 years. In 1986, it broke off from Antarctica's filchner ronner ice shelf. It remained aground in the Weddell Sea for nearly 30 years, until 2020, when it started moving slowly north. By 2023, it cleared the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula. Then in August last year, it became stuck in a revolving current. But it has since broken free and drifted straight for the UK territory of South Georgia. In the last few days, it ran aground on the rocky shelf around the island 50 miles from its southwest coast. There have been so few bergs this big, scientists don't really know if they're becoming more common or not. But A23A is symbolic of the rapid melting of Antarctica due to global warming. The continent is losing about 150 billion tonnes of ice every year, half of it due to icebergs like A23A breaking away, the rest due to water melting off the continent itself. A key concern is that all the fresh water melting out of that ice might be slowing down the deep ocean currents around the Antarctic, which are the single most important thing, removing increasing levels of heat and carbon dioxide from our atmosphere. That a23A is effectively a symbol of how we're messing with our planet's cooling system. And Tom is now on board an RAF patrol flight over the so-called Mega Berg. He sent us this update just before he took off. From where I am in the Falkland Islands, it's 800 miles away off the coast of South Georgia. We've been here for a week now because of severe weather, unable to make it out there to get a glimpse of the iceberg. But now appears to be a window has opened and the Royal Air Force have kindly offered to take us out on their routine patrol flight on this A400 Atlas aircraft around the island of South Georgia that should give us the best opportunity anybody's had to get a close-up look at the iceberg, A23A. And remember, this is an enormous berg, 40 miles across its area, almost twice the size of Greater London. So if it's out there, we should see it as long as the cloud cover isn't too bad. It's expected in the coming weeks to start breaking up, and we're hoping to see evidence of whether that's starting to happen. And that's important. There's, a, there's officials here from uh, the South Georgia government and from the Royal Navy who are interested to find out how that berg is breaking up, what kind of hazard it might pose to shipping in the area. There goes the Royal Air Force tanker as we speak. So if the wind doesn't get any worse, We'll be taking off to get out over that iceberg. It's about a two-hour flight away and hopefully get some decent close-up picture, pictures of it for the first time. 